So recently I did a video on advanced techniques for losing weight. In this video, I'm gonna talk about keto and intermittent fasting for procrastinators, okay? And I'm probably talking to you, Mary, John, Stefan, yeah. If you're a procrastinator, make mental notes, okay? I wanted to keep things very, very, very simple because procrastinators sometimes are overwhelmed and they need a way to just jump in there and focus on the most important things. There are just six simple steps. Step number one, remove all the junk food from your house, okay? Real simple, just get rid of the junk. Number two, remove all the food from the countertops, like the nuts and the fruit that's sitting in your face 24 seven. So number three, go to the grocery store and buy these foods, kale, berries, eggs, other proteins, nut butters, hummus, celery, salad, and cheese, okay? I like to buy the kale already chopped and cleaned, um, and you just put it in the freezer, okay? So that way, a little bit later, you can take it out and blend it with the berries that are also frozen and make it into a great shake. You can drink that, it's really, really easy, okay? Three steps. Now step number four, plan out your day of eating, okay? What you're gonna consume for breakfast, lunch, dinner. So let's say we do eggs, cheese, avocado, bacon, whatever you wanna do for breakfast. Make sure you have enough fat to go from this meal to this meal without snacking. And then at lunch, do your big salad. You can put your salad dressing and have protein and make sure you add fat. So that would be the nut butters and maybe you have celery, uh, hummus and celery. I don't even care if you do carrots and celery or uh, that would be fine. So that would give you enough fat to go from this meal to that meal. And then do the same thing for the dinner. Vegetable, moderate protein, and a good amount of fat. Now we go, no snacking, we go from this meal to this meal of fasting, and also fasting between the meals, okay? Step five, start to push your breakfast forward and forward until finally there is no more breakfast there because you're not eating if you're not hungry. So we have two meals a day, okay? Again, add fat, fat so you can actually add more time fasting. At this point, you're really in it hardcore and you're feeling good and your energy is up and now it's easier. There's no more cravings. You may want to add potassium B vitamins to make this transition real smooth. Electrolytes, uh, nutritional yeast, those are the two ways that I recommend getting those minerals and B vitamins, okay? Step six. Limit going out to the restaurant. In fact, I would just not go to any restaurants during this period until you're fully into it hardcore because there's so many things that can stop you in this transition. You get thrown off and next thing you know, it's months later and you, have, you, you haven't got back on the wagon. Avoid alcohol. That's gonna knock you out of the program for a few days. It's not worth it, okay? That's it. Six simple steps. Anyone can do this. So go ahead and start with step one. John, Mary. Stefan, okay, start. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, before you go, definitely sign up for my free keto course. I put a link down below. It's on Messenger and Facebook, but it will give you all the basics. It's very quick. It's like three or four videos, and it's free. Check it out.